Hi, welcome to Tropico Aquas live aquascaping event with Adip Sajjan Raj. I have with me Adip Sajjan Raj, who is the Managing Director of Stillwater Aquatics and ADA India. Adip, thanks a lot for coming down and uh, accepting my invite. Thank I you so much. Nice to so be here in Mumbai. <laughs> what do you think about the gallery? It's very nice, very interesting, and uh, I think there's a lot of Good prospects for the future, so wish you all the very best. Thank you so and much. Make your smile become bigger and bigger. <laughs> Absolutely. With lots more, you know, money in the bank. <laughs> and, and no 500 rupee, 100 rupee. Absolutely. I just want 100 rupee notes to start with. 2000. Okay, so, so what? Adip, what's, what's, what's your plan for this cake? I think we have some nice uh, branch food. Okay. And uh, we have some video store. And uh, so let's let's you know kind of mix and match it and you know, kind of build the scape step by step. Okay, so so the scape is going to have a lot of uh, Rulio stone, uh, uh, that sansui, right? Yes. That sansui and a lot of driftwood. That's mm -hmm. going to be the combination that you're going to use. Thinking of. Uh, and and what about the plants that you are uh, using primarily? Hmm. I think we'll use a combination of uh, coffee plants and some rosettes and some stems. We'll, you know, we're using the solar RGB, so I want the layer to be a lot colorful. Okay. So we'll try and get, it, uh, get as much color as possible with the layer. Tell us, tell us something about the solar RGB also. What, what's, what's so special about RGB? I've, I've heard that uh, the reds really stand out in the RGB. Okay, but uh, you tell us more about it. This is a very special light. You know, when you stand under the light, you look more handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so it's something like that, you know. Okay. Okay. So I think the RGB, a lot of work is done to produce the RGB. And uh, it's, it's not only really for the fish in the plants, but even the water looks a lot different. Okay. As compared to you know, the water around. Okay. So the blue looks better, mm -hmm. the water looks more like a you know, beautiful shot underwater. Okay. So of course with all the camera and all through the water, you'll be able to observe and over the next you know couple of days or weeks, you'll see it will really come alive. Of the plants. Okay. And um, and we are going to bring this uh, these updates to everyone uh, on a weekly basis and uh, maybe daily basis. On a daily basis <laughs> also and, and we're going to have a time lapse event which is getting recorded as we speak. We have some GoPro cameras also set and they are going to record this event for us. So really want this to be a showcase event uh, such that people can refer to it time and again. Okay, so we'll start from the scratch, Adit. Okay. I see that you have your layout tools also over here. Yes. So you want to tell us something about the layout tools so also? So we'll start using it. There's a lot of layout tools. We have the ADA tools out here and uh, some moss cotton and you know some basic additive so let's let's start you know getting to work step by step okay. i think we're missing a pin set here so we need to get a pin set from, from somewhere and, and you have the ada super 4 yeah you want to tell what what all so you're going to put this is like you know basically different elements of uh, back to 100 clear super tomlin and bc so which will be adding into the you know the system so let's so start, let's, I start. Think. let's start let's start yeah so i'm going to go ahead plug it in sure so I'm going to start with back to 100. Just pour it in. Yeah. Here we go. To the honors. Quickly. And so that's back to, that's put everything. Tomal and BC that you can put. And while we do this, Adip, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about all of these for the audience? Yeah. So I think it's, uh, we, need, we need a lot of beneficial bacteria in, in the system and uh, because it's a sterile environment and mm -hmm. we're trying to bring uh, an ecosystem together. So it's important that you know, we have different types of bacteria and you bring the bacteria to life. So here we're using almost uh, 100 types of bacteria. 100 types of bacteria, okay. To, to bring it to life and you know, 
put the whole thing in place. So how many how many packets would you recommend for a four feet aquarium like this? About five packets. That's good. Five packets. Yeah. Okay. And that that really speeds up the cycling process. The cycling does a lot more. Okay. So tell us more about that. that as well. General bacteria will just do cycling. Mm -hmm. The cycling will just need about uh, maybe five or six types of bacteria. But uh, for a nature aquarium, we need you know, many more types of bacteria. So this will you know, kind of you know, uh, bring all the elements together. And that's uh, the time to you know, do well. So it's, it's important in you know, many aspects that we start off with the right kind of uh, foundation. Okay. For the aquarium. And this is one of the most basic things that we have to do to get the foundation right. Okay. Good. Good. What's next? So, Okay. We have some interesting stones over there and some really oh. good lit wood that we placed over there. So it's going to be interesting to watch you select the woods, select your scape. And we are going to take uh, questions as we go along in this uh, scape. So, um, you know, if you want to post any questions, you could start doing so once the once the aquascape starts taking shape, and uh, other people answer them for you. Okay. All done, other. sand packs. So we have the L. Can you give me a blade please? There's a blade over there. Use. Tell us a little bit about the power sand also, Adil. The power sand here enriches the substrate for it. Okay, for enriching the substrate. Yeah, so it's important that it's basically made of two stones. And uh, it's, it's good if you want to have a long term acquiring. It's meant more for long term use. So this is where the bacteria will also colonize. Uh, colonize. Yes. One more, or this is enough? So, I think we need one more. Okay. Can you uh, And I noticed that you are separating, uh, you are you're clearing up the space about two inches from the front. Uh, the, what was the reason that you have for this? Okay, so it doesn't come out and keep yeah. jutting out. Okay. Okay. That's right. So, the first time basically you got two stone and feet, 
So it's, it's very effective in you know, kind of oxygenating the substrate also. Okay. We have a lot of oxygen uh, going to the substrate. Okay. So, can you give me the Amazon now? Sure. I need this one now. So you're going to start with Amazonia, and uh, this is this is probably one of the best, the best uh, aquarium substrates that we have, and it's been like that ever since it's been launched. One more? Let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, the plants getting prepared uh, as well, while Adit is leveling these, uh, the sand over here, the soil. Is, uh, we have the hair grass, the dwarf hair grass. We've got Monte Carlo being used over here, and uh, we have uh, Anubias. We have some red plants over here. I can't really make out which they are. I think they are Reneki. And uh, we have some Ludwiga also. Sandeep, which are those plants? Ludwiga Arquata. And uh, which is this one? Ludwika Arquata, narrowly. Arquata, okay. And this is Ludwika Copper Red. Copper Red, okay. Yes. Hygrophila Dwarf Compacta. Okay. Hygrophila Pinotic Fida. Mm -hmm. Hydrocotyl Honda. Okay. Macranthmoids. Micranthmoids. Virusneria Nana. Okay. And Ludwika Ovals. Okay, super. Thank you Erectus, so much. Focused one. Focused the more. So we seem to have quite a big scape coming up and I like the way you guys are arranging this, uh, this for easy planting. <coughs> okay, Adit is, is starting to put the drip foot in place, so let's, let's have a look at that as well. Can I hold it? 
put uh, these things to be coming alive. Mm -hmm. I don't want to disturb Adip a lot when he is doing this, but you know, I'm curious as much as I'm sure everyone is uh, on the scape that he's got in mind. Let's pan out from over here as well. Let's have a look at the scheme from here. Get the wood take this. Okay. Let me know how much of yeah. length of it. So we have the ADA wood tight over here. It's it's probably one of the best materials that we have in the market today to kind of tie it up. Of course, you 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 really need to use wood tight to understand how good it is. I think one of the challenges about this cape is that it's going to be visible from all sides. Mm -hmm. So I understand that you're, you're trying out these dis different placements so that if a person is, who's a viewer is looking at this, he's actually getting going to get a 360 degree view out of this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because usually we would place the driftwood facing in one direction. Here, it's important to get one direction right, mm -hmm. and then we can move to the other directions, you know. Okay. So I'm just trying to create a canopy kind of thing. Okay. Just quite fair. Other side should be okay. Don't worry. Get the ratios right, and then you know we can we can fan it around. Sure. So uh, can I get the whole thing? Yeah. Similar then. Just give me a minute, Adil. Do we have any questions coming in? 
Okay, we we'll take that in some time. Once Adip settles down on the scale. Okay. So we have the Sansui stone over here that uh, is going to be part of this layout. This one is a big rock over here. Koke. It's not Sansui, it's Koke. Koke. Okay. And my, my Japanese is not that good, so you'll have to pardon my Japanese. This is called Koke. It's very nice, uh, heavy stone. Sansu is, I think, very light. Similar in texture, though. How much scale is one? This one? Yeah. This one? Next. I think, I think they wash the stones uh, just to make sure that the dust is off. I'm not sure whether uh, the voice is audible, and uh, if it is, give 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 me a thumbs up sign. Give me a like. You know that's better off. Uh, but if it's not, don't give me a thumbs down. Don't do that. You shouldn't do that. Do we have option of thumbs down? No, you don't have an option of thumbs down. <laughs> This one is uh, this one is a beauty. It's it's a Ruyo stone. Uh, let's see how Adip is going to use this one. Fits it very well over there. Can you get me this one? Sure. Small one. So while Adip is setting this up, we have we virtually have an army of uh, volunteers outside, trainees who are sorting out the plants. You you will see them behind, um, and they are sorting out these plants and keeping them ready for the for the planting. And uh, that that's not an easy job either.
I know you guys are eager to see this layout from, from the other side, but you guys have to just hold on for some time while other sets it up. He just kind of wants to work at his own pace. So, uh, you know, while I, I'm sure you all have a lot of questions in mind, I'm just going to hold on to those questions, hold on to those questions. Okay, uh, that needs some Amazonia. We have an open bag at the moment. We have. Behind you? Yes. Very good. Can I still cut that one? So you see the different layers that are, uh, you know, laid out over here in this aquascape. The first layer is the power sand, and you can see that clearly over here. This is where the bacteria will colonize, and above that is the Amazonia sand, and above this substrate, other will later on use the Amazonia powder type, which is even finer than this. This really packs it up real tight. some smaller stones to choose from other yeah okay
I mean, these these RGBs are amazing. Uh, there's virtually no other light in this room, and uh, we're just under these RGBs, and the, the amount of uh, brightness it's throwing around the room, simply amazing. Can you get me the stones that you have in your hand? Yeah. This side or a bit is I think the GoPro Max are it will be blocking these two are the only main ideas. We have the ADA power powder sand over here. And I'm just going to give you a close-up shot of how the powders and granules are really fine as compared to what we have over here is the regular Amazonia. So you can see the difference.
Adip, I noticed that you, you started with two different types of stone, mm -hmm. and uh, now only one type of stone is uh, really visible. visible. That's the idea. And, and the idea was to kind of create some volume. Yes. Oh, okay. So it's never advisable to, to show two different types of stone because that's not what occurs naturally. Right. You're right. Some more powder? Where do you want it? One second. <laughs> What are some of the questions that are coming in? If, if uh, you know, you guys can let me know. We can probably ask Adip uh, some of those questions and have some conversation going on. Okay. Okay. Need a couple more stones. Some more stones. This one. Stones. So the, the names of these stones are uh, is Ruyo. You know my Japanese is improving by the minute. So these are Ruyo stones, and they're they're spelled R Y U O H. Right. The ones that we used in the backdrop, which you can't see now, are Koke, Koke stones. Koke Ishi. Koke Ishi. Ishi. Ishi, okay, Ishi. Stone in Japanese. Okay. And what is the layout called, Adip? What's the layout called, Adip? 
We don't have a name for it as yet. Yeah, we we'll open it up for a you know online competition. <laughs> let's let 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 the viewers suggest the names. Uh, not right now. Yes. If you if you really notice the kind of striations that are there on these stones, and it, it really makes them stand apart from from the regular stones that you would get anywhere. You know, I get a lot of these questions: Why are these? Uh, you know, what's the cost of these stones, and why are these so expensive? Uh, I think it's not about the expense part of it. I think it's it's about how how detailed they are. And you, you can actually see the, the beauty in each of these stones as they are laid out. And this is just the, the beginning of this particular aquascape. As we you know, introduce the plants, as the plants start growing and, and blooming, you'll really start seeing this aquascape come alive in the cup, next couple of weeks. And day by day, you, you'll be getting this account. So Adip, how many years have you been aquascaping? Long time. Long time. Long time is, is what and how many years? Maybe 12 years. 12 years? 10 years, 12 years, yeah. 12 years and, and you learned aquascaping from the master himself, Takashi Amano. You call him Amano-san? Yes, Amano-san. Amano-san. And, and we, have, uh, we have this very nice poster of uh, Takashi Amano watching over us. I, I mean, it's, it's my personal favorite because when I enter the gallery, the first thing I look at is, is uh, Takashi Amano. And I, I think, uh, you know, I, I pray that he's, he's blessing us all the time and maybe have such wonderful aquascapes uh, time and again. So powder, powder uh, type really packs it up and, and the plants get a very good base to and support when you start off the aquascape. You don't have this the issue of plants floating right up. Uh, you know, if you don't use uh, powder, powder type, you will encounter that issue. One more there. So while we Adip sets this up, we are going to have a short five minute break and we'll be back soon immediately. So Mayur is going to continue and uh, you know, Nikhil, 
ayudu Okay, okay mayur is waving out to me i i am sorry but i can't understand sign language so mayur you'll have to come over here and relieve me on the okay mayur go ahead with the comment please sure. go ahead i so i know a break when someone like adip is doing a fantastic aquascape you don't want to see my face but then yeah, i love publicity I love the camera, guys. You are you have no choice but to look at me now. Okay, so deal with it. So uh, now I must take a break. Adib is just setting up, preparing for the next phase, which is planting. So he will now in his break he is going to go check what plants are available. Have they all been prepared properly? And then he is going to start planting. And planting is a tedious job. You all of you know. so i i guess a break is important to start off with while we are in this break i'm going to show you a, the whole of tropico aqua nikhil follow me please this is tropico aqua start we uh, this is the entrance of the shop i'm going to walk you through the shop now they have two beautiful one a cichlid tank on the left a marine tank on the right and of course the planted tank that are the to setting right in the center with with the latest rgb light yeah bright beautiful Best in the world right now. Okay. Can you talk more about the this? Is, because there was a question. Um, somebody wanted to know which type of light. We we using. will. I will put in a video of the light. Okay. Just give me a couple of minutes. Nikhil, Tropico Aqua probably is one of the best designed or most beautiful aquarium shops oh, gallery oh, right now in India and. the reason for this of course is the gentleman who is learning Jap japanese amar salvi all right they have a lot of different products good quality stuff you can always drop in or talk to amar salvi later or they can log in to justaquariumstuff.com all right they, they also have a beautiful fish section which they are developing every day discus chanas frontosa and of course a lot of other stuff and constantly upgrading they have a nice tissue culture section okay they have more displays and they also have space for you to come and learn so they'll show you stuff they have they're going to plan classes so if you nikhil is just going to take a small 360 degree turn after i stop talking and give you a 360 view of the shop again shop is the wrong word i'm sorry it's a gallery okay or it's an aquarium store okay like an iphone store it's an aquarium store no more dirty lfs guys times are changing okay it's the next phase or the new step okay in the aquarium business so i'm going to take give hand you back to amar Before that, Nikhil is going to take one three sixty turn so that he can show you the whole shop. and welcome back yeah so while other gives the final touches on to this particular layout before we start the planting if you have any more questions please keep uh, shooting those questions we we ask other as and when possible
come on. Not sure if you guys noticed, but we have placed a GoPro camera right over there, which is which is taking uh, quick snapshots as the skate progresses. So that's going to be used in a time lapse. And we have another camera station right behind, and that's going, that's also taking uh, a time lapse uh, snap. So we're going to stitch it all together and have a really nice video so that people see as to how does an aquascape come to life. For those of you who haven't uh, visited our online store, our online store is justaquariumstuff.com. That's justaquariumstuff.com. And uh, if you, you know, do visit uh, the store, you get a lot of you know brands that we represent over here in India, starting from Ecotech Marine. Uh, of course, we have uh, ADA. Uh, the complete range of ADA is there, and we have Ecotech Marine, the Radions. Uh, the aqua illumination, hydras, we have sea chem, we have aqua vitro, we have microb lift. So we have the complete range of brands and products to cater to uh, not only freshwater planted aquariums but marine aquariums too. So please do visit justaquariumstuff.com. So it's interesting to see how uh, one can use even pieces of wood that uh, you would not otherwise want to pick up. But it's interesting to see how others is using them in combination to the other wood that is already there. Thank you. 
One of the interesting things about wood tight is the way it kind of blends different woods together. You notice that you know once you plant, you hardly notice that the 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 wood tight is there. Keeps keeps the scape keeps the driftwood in place. So I noticed that the team uh, which is uh, making sure that the plants are you know just about ready to be planted is, is uh, getting ready to get in the plant so very soon we are going to have the planting also started but it's interesting I'm going to show you how they have arranged the plants so that it's easy for Adit to start planting right away and uh, I'm just going to take you out Adit to eat anything okay uh, you'll see how they are arranging these plants so that the plants don't dry up. And they have, they've made sure that there's, there's newspapers placed on it and they're wet so that the plants don't dry up. Yeah, Rand, if you could just open one of those uh, newspapers and so that people can see that's the that's the dwarf hair grass the ones that we've used over here ran are these uh, tissue culture plants oh, yeah okay, can you can you just show show us one of the uh, tissue culture pots okay you can't really make out over there again can you show me this one yeah super so if you if you really see the kind of uh, plants that are being used and it makes it very easy for us to really you know just wash off the gel and place it ready for planting right away Quite a lot of plants that are going into the scape today. It's going to be interesting. As you see over here, how the team has kept the anubias really sorted out, packed, ready to be planted. And some really beautiful anubias over here. I like your t-shirt Sandeep, the nature aquarium dream, you guys didn't give us ADA t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, sure. Super. 
Let's see what other people will be doing. Scissor. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yes. Get it. Get it. Yeah. So there's a there's a question that if uh, you know, I think somebody's asking as to what height the lights have been kept in comparison to the aquarium. Right now we have kept the uh, lights a little uh, over what we would ideally keep them at. That's because other needs to needs a space to work. Uh, but uh, ideally it would be about 15 inches, uh, right, or other 12 to 15 inches from the surface of the water. Oh, we need one more stone. Yes. Oh, uh, fair side, just to keep those two wood in place. Just to... Uh, may not be, maybe... Do uh, aqua? Uh, scissors, uh, okay. 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 Do aqua is a curve scissor.
Why don't we uh, have a look at this cape as it is coming up from Adib's perspective so you could probably take a view from the other side. Interesting to see the importance placed on, on ensuring that the sand is leveled out, the soil is leveled out. I mean, I'm just I'm just uh, amazed to see the focus on detail over here. Um, honestly, I wouldn't I wouldn't go to that extent to make sure that you know the sand is at uh, the soil is at the same level. But this is amazing, and you can see the little details and I think the little details are the ones that will really make a big difference to the scale. Okay, so we finished step one. Okay. Now we're going to be adding uh, water into the tank. Okay. So this, the first phase is done. We are going to be adding water to the tank, and uh, once we soak up the soil, that's when we start the planting. Super. <coughs> 